Hey, it's DIY Gemini, and today we're building an arbor. So we're at a new site, aka my friend H&A's house. They had asked me to help them build an arbor behind their garage. An arbor is a structure that usually has some climbing greenery or vines. In this case, they wanted an arbor so they could hang a projector screen to watch movies in the summer. The first step is to be in the space to see what dimensions look good for the arbor. We use painter's tape here to give us a good visual, and then we ultimately decided seven foot tall and 10 foot wide looks best behind the garage. Next, I put this rough plan into SketchUp so I have a better idea of what we're putting together. So we're using two four by four posts, two eight inch wide ledgers, four eight inch wide cross pieces, and a couple of two by two decorated pieces for the top. All the wood that we're using today are gonna to be just treated lumber from the big box store, we also got some 2x4s to help hold the posts in place for a later step. The only 4x4 posts that we found at the big box store were actually 12 feet tall, so we're actually going to cut them down to 9 feet using the chop saw. Our arbor will be 7 feet tall, but we need 2 feet to be underground, hence the final 9 feet. Our posts here, um, they are cut to the height that we need to, but I think instead of putting the ledgers just on top with bolting it on we're gonna create a basically like a giant rabbit joint to put right here what we're gonna do is take a bunch of cuts with the circle saw like this and then we'll take a chisel to clean up our cuts so this is the size of the ledger as far as the height and the thickness so we're just going to use that to measure how big our joint is going to be make sure it's also very square I ended up using a marker because I couldn't really see with my pencil. Mark that there. And we're also gonna measure how deep we're gonna go. This at the store is called eight by two, like eight this way and two this way, but it's always shrunk. So the actual, you always wanna measure the actual height of this thing. About an inch and a half actually. From here down. So once we cut this little chunk out here, this is gonna fit, not this actual piece, but this is going to fit into there. We'll do another one on the other side for the other ledger, and then we'll do it on the second post as well. Definitely have a friend help you move this. It's so heavy. Like me and my friend were at the Lowe's and it was, it was a struggle. Like these things are heavy. Not only that, they are, you know, also very full of water and moisture so it's heavier because of that too these are these are chonka boys chonka boys <laughs> sawdust <laughs> there's literally like a pile of like snow like sawdust it's crazy but yeah this is what we look like basically we're gonna chisel this all out and uh yeah we'll have one joint i will be saver this time guys i will no chopping off no thumbs today Satisfying. It's a little too thick. It's a little harder to get out. See how I did? Probably not these thick, like a quarter inch is probably too thick. Something like thinner like these are better to get out cleanly. And Always wear safety glasses because this thing is flying everywhere. So we have one joint ready to go. Um, I cleaned it up with my chisel. I don't have my planer with me, 
to make it like super, super smooth, but I think roughly it's fine because um, we're not gonna see it. So just to fit, it's gonna fit perfectly. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time on the other side of this post. One. But I, I will say these are very, very heavy. I have no idea how heavy these are. I would say like at least 80. I don't know. Is that, is that gas in it? I don't know. Let's do the same thing on this other side. We're going to do another one here. That's going to go the other ledger on the back side. And then we'll repeat the process as we've done before. And uh, yeah, we might, your elbows might be a little, a little sore. Next, we're going to be digging holes for our post. We're going to dig them a little over two feet into the ground and about one to two feet wide. And since it was getting late and it was starting to rain, we decided to do install on the post for another day. The next day, we actually put gravel at the bottom of the holes that we made and packed it down. We're going to use a string level and some 2x4s to ensure the posts are all straight and level. We then use fast setting quickrete so that we can actually pour the mix right in and add water into our holes for our posts. And then this meant that it could set within 20 40 minutes, which is crazy fast. Since we did do this on a weekday, we started pretty late after work, so we'll finish this project another day. <laughs> we all work full-time jobs, so we were just trying to coordinate between all of our schedules. Adulting. <laughs> okay, so it's a new day. We are ready to get started. Let's go. So it is another day, which means it is time to finish this project. I am so excited. Our concrete is real solid and now covered with dirt. The next step is to add the decorative cuts to our, our ledgers and the four decorative pieces on the side here. To make our decorative cuts, we're going to measure three inches down from the top. And from that mark, we're gonna use a speed square to cut at a 45 degree angle on both sides. We originally got ledgers that were 12 feet long. So the idea was it to have it overhang on each side of the posts on the left and right. But we forgot that when we did the decorative angled cuts on those pieces, that it actually like made it a little bit shorter. So it was a, wasn't totally to plan of what we originally wanted, but that's okay. It is now finally time to put it all together. To attach our ledgers, we're going to be using carriage bolts. The bolts will go through the first ledger, the posts, and then through the back of the second ledger. Then it will be secured with a washer and a nut. What I learned recently actually about these carriage bolts is that when they're driven into the wood, there's a square part underneath the head that creates an impression in the wood and basically becomes embedded in the wood. The more you know. After drilling half inch holes, we are using seven inch long bolts here and adding them diagonally on the front and to do the opposing diagonal on the back side. Next, we're going to be adding the decorative pieces. These are four feet long on the long side and then we'll use three inch exterior mm -hmm. screws to attach these. Snowball! Hi! Hi! We're looking good so far, but we're also going to add a little bit more decorative pieces using these two by twos for the top. We're gonna to cut them down to four feet long and matches the pieces that we just put up. We place the pieces roughly one foot apart perpendicular to our ledgers. Once we like how it was looking, we made some spacers out of some scrap wood to keep consistent spacing and screwed them down with three inch screws. The last step is to add the C-hooks in between the two ledgers so that we can hang our projector screen. That feeling of accomplishment! Yeah, we did it! All right, let's look at what we got. Wow, guys, we made it.
it. Um, thank you so much to H&A for trusting me with this project. I've never done anything like this before. I think this is perfect for a beginner woodworker like I am. And these are all straight cuts. It's to be doing this over the weekend. Um, we did it over a course of several nights just because our schedules aren't lining up. All of us have full-time jobs. Um, so we were just trying to do it for two hours here, three hours there. So, but you can definitely do this over the weekend. Every time we do something new, every time we accomplish something new, I feel more encouraged to do more and learn more. So hopefully that does the same for you guys. If you love seeing stuff like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you again to H&A for trusting me with this. And I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.